Hi, I'm Phil Dworski, and I'm here with Bob Steer from Samsung Foundry. Welcome, Bob. Yeah, thanks, Phil. It's a pleasure to be here today. You know, we've been relentlessly collaborating for more than 12 years together. And relentless collaboration it has been, Phil. Um, we've got uh, the Synopsys digital reference platform that we've collaborated on across a wide variety of nodes. Uh, the Synopsys design platform is fully enabled and certified, Samsung certified, uh, for design compiler graphical, for the IC compiler 2, for PrimeTime, and IC validator, which is both in design as well as sign off. Bob, why don't you tell us a little bit about the certified digital reference flows? So the certified flows are a great example of the ongoing collaboration. Uh, the 10 LPP we just certified at the end of last year, and recently we certified the 8 LPP platform using the ARM Cortex-A53. Uh, these flows are available for download from the Samsung Advanced Foundry Ecosystem uh, website, our new SAFE ecosystem. Bob, our collaboration in IP is extended from 180 nanometers to 8 nanometers, really giving our customers access to a broad portfolio of designware IP. And it's been used across billions of units in that time frame, 180 nanometer to the, uh, to the 8 nanometer. Um, Synopsys designware IP, both the FIs and the, uh, the controller IP are available for a wide range of IP. Um, some very critical ones like USB or HDMI or PCIe. Um, one of the recent areas that we've collaborated on are the embedded memories and libraries for the 8LPP platform, mm -hmm. where we'll see superior performance, power, and area as a result. Uh, and uh, these IPs are also uh, qualified to uh, ACLD spec. Uh, very, very important for automotive, which is seeing uh, an immense amount of traction. Uh, so you get the, uh, the grade one AEC qualification as well as help in accelerating ISO 26262 uh, for the automotive SOC reliability. Our collaboration continues at 7LPP with EUV technology. Yeah, absolutely. We're very excited about this, Phil. Our uh, 7 LPP platform will be the, uh, the world's leading 7 nanometer EUV technology platform. 40% uh, area savings, 20% uh, performance improvement, and a 50% power reduction versus our existing 10 nanometer platform. Bob, why is EUV so important for 7 LPP? Phil, EUV is a game changer. Uh, we get two major improvements uh, with EUV. Uh, the first is better pattern fidelity. Uh, so we see better registration of the features leading to improved area and performance over multi-patterning uh, in the technologies. The, uh, the other area is it's a single exposure technology. Uh, so we get better throughput in the fabs, uh, we get higher yield, and we get a lower mass count. Bob, what does the relentless collaboration bring us for 7LPP? And the collaboration continues on 7. Uh, we'll have the digital reference flow uh, that we've had across all the platforms, but for 7LPP, we'll be adding an analog reference flow as well. Uh, so we'll have certified circuit simulation tools uh, as well as models on the, uh, on the analog front. And uh, all of this will be ready soon. Uh, PDK 1.0 for 7LPP was released already and will be in production with the flows by second half of 18. Synopsys is announcing Fusion technology this year at Snug, and Samsung's been a key partner in deploying it. And a great example of the ongoing collaboration, Phil, between Samsung and Synopsys. Uh, we started early. Uh, we're working together closely on the Fusion technology on the Synopsys design platform where we see that this will provide superior quality of result, uh, better chip performance, and great throughput for designs. Uh, we believe this is really a game-changing innovation. Um, we see this benefiting our joint customers across all market segments from AI, machine learning, and HPC to automotive, to 5G, to consumer. Bob, thanks for the relentless collaboration. It's my pleasure, Phil. And thank you for watching.